Hello everyone, my name is Ali Reza Erfanyan and I'm honored to present our paper entitled Unoptimizing Resource Utilization in ABC-based Real-Time Video Streaming on behalf of my colleague in Athena Lab of the University of the Klagenfurt. Our presentation consists of five parts including introduction, motivating example, proposed MILP and heuristic approach, and uh, finally discussing about the result and conclusion and future work. The demand for watching video online is growing more and more, and according to the last reports, the share of video streaming from the total internet traffic reached to more than 65% in the last year, and even rise around 80% during coronavirus pandemic period. These numbers show the importance of uh, streaming traffic and its pressure on the network. There are two options to tackle with this growing video streaming bandwidth demand. The first one is to invest more money on the the infrastructure and increase the network capacity that uh, is not scalable and affordable. The second option is to employ more efficient approach in efficient video delivery streaming cycle like coding, streaming, and package. Uh, one of the most uh, bandwidth hungry video streaming application is real time video. <coughs> Video streaming that uh, consume a considerable amount of uh, network resources, especially in time of live venue like sport matches. As I mentioned, the real-time video streaming is a bandwidth-hungry application, and for many years, operators use unicast approach for streaming that wastes a lot of network resources due to redundant streaming. Increasing the demand for this type of video streaming put a lot of pressure on the network operators' infrastructures. So they started to employing more efficient solutions to cope with this uh, demand. One of these solutions uh, that employed widely in the industry is Unicast, is using cache server at the edge of the network. But it was proved that it is not very scalable, especially for widespread networks. And the other popular solution is using multicast streaming that uh, recognized as multicast ABR industry. As you can see in the fix, uh, by using the multicast approach operators could save the bandwidth and reduce the cost. Uh, the interesting point is that by increasing the number of clients, the amount of saving bandwidth and cost reduction increase exponentially. However, the multicast approach has its own challenges. First of all, uh, it imposes uh, the package changing from the unicast to multicast in the multicast source and converting it to unicast packet again at the edge of the network. Uh, also, each router has to maintain, uh, maintain the state of the multicast group, and we need to we need a special router with multicast support. Motivated by the mentioned issues, we propose an AVC-based real-time video multicast streaming framework by leveraging software-defined networking SDN and Network Function Virtualization, NFV. I should note that uh, our proposed approach can be easily applied to HVC and SHVC too. We employ two types of VNFs, first a set of virtual reverse proxy servers, VRPs, that are used at the edge of the network to aggregate the client's requests and send them to the STEM controller. And second, a set of uh, virtual transcoder functions or VTFs that are hosted by point of presence or pop nodes to achieve a significant reduction in bandwidth consumption. 
We introduce our approach in three main layers, as you can see in the fig, namely application, network core, and network edge, respectively. Consider a limit set of media servers and an SDN control place in the first layer. In the next layer, there is a group of pop nodes equipped with open flow switches connected to the SDN controller and uh, with sufficient resources to be able to launch the VTM. In the network edge layer, we use a finite number of VRPs to aggregate the dash client's requests. Let's uh, explain the idea of our approach uh, through some simple examples. Assume we have five representations with different resolution and bitrate as shown in the table here. Uh, and also assume uh, a given simple topology as depicted in the fig uh, with one media server, this one, and uh, four pop nodes denoted by P1 to P4, and two VRPs located at the edge of the network. In multicast ABR approach, each requested quality should be transferred through a separate multicast tree that we here we depicted with different colors and uh, uh, determining the optimal multicast tree for a subset of nodes is an MP hard problem. And here we have to, for this simple topology, we have to calculate uh, four. Uh, different multicast tree from the source node to the VRPs. Uh, also, the total bandwidth consumption for this simple topology is a little bit more than 138 megabit per sec. For the next example, we investigate the performance of a multicast approach by using a scalable video coding. As you know, the SVC acts in uh, complementary manner and each enhancement layer added to the previous layers uh, to increase the final quality. Uh, by using a scalable video coding, we could reduce the bandwidth consumption. But uh, in the other hand, we have to maintain multiple trees. And uh, moreover, SVC is not efficient uh, uh, coding and uh, as around 10% overhead per each enhancement layer. The main idea of our approach is to transfer the highest requested quality to some pop nodes in the network and by launching the virtual transcoder at the selected pop node, generating the other requested quality by clients. Here in the example, we transferred the QID4 as the highest requested quality by the VRPs from the source node to uh, up node 2 and generate the other requested quality here at P2 and transfer them to the VRPs. By uh, employing this approach, we could save a considerable amount of the bandwidth in the cost of transcoding in the network. As it depicted in this example, we could uh, even save more bandwidth by placing VTFs closer to the clients. But on the other hand, we have to run more VTFs in the network that increase the transcoding cost. So the problem is to determine the optimal number and locations of the VTF and, uh, and also determining the, an appropriate multicast tree from source node to the VTFs. So our contribution in this paper is to leveraging the SDN concept and NFP technology to efficiently serve dash clients requests in every serial time streaming. Also proposing an MILP model to jointly construct the optimal multicast tree and VTF's placement with the object of 
minimizing the resource utilization and VTF's cost. We also propose a heuristic approach to achieve a near optimal solution in uh, polynomial time. And finally, we evaluate the performance of the proposed framework using the mini-net and compare it with, uh, with the other SVC and AVC based multi NKS approach. We formulate the mentioned problem as the following MILP model. Uh, as you can see, the model try to minimizing the transcoding cost as the first part of the model and uh, delivering cost for the from the source node to the VTFs and from the VTF to the VRPs. Uh, for more detail about the constraint, please refer to the paper. As it was mentioned, the proposed MLP model is MP hard and is not scalable. So, to mitigate time complexity of MLP model, we propose a heuristic algorithm in polynomial time complexity. Uh, the heuristic algorithm at the first select the VTF instances with the minimum transcoding cost that meet the given uh, transcoding deadline and after that according to the uh, transcoding cost update the required bandwidth for creating multicast 3 uh, by calling the create multicast 3 algorithm and after that it determined the number and location of the VTF by calling the transcoder placement. To evaluate the purpose approach in realistic environment, we consider three real network topology in the small, medium, and large scale. Uh, consists of 11, 47, and 113 up nodes and 5, 15, and 30 VRP respectively. We also use MiniNet as the emulation, emulation system and the floodlight as the stem controller. We also consider different VTF instance types as follows. For the first scenario, we compare the proposed MILP and heuristic approach in terms of number of selected VTFs and measure the total transcoding cost for a small scale topology. We repeat, we repeat the experiment with different value of alpha 1 as the weightening parameter of objective function of the proposed MILP model. The smaller value of alpha 1 means uh, higher priority for uh, delivering cost. So uh, the proposed approach try to minimize the delivery cost by using more, uh, more number of uh, uh, VTF in the network and uh, by increasing the value of the alpha one, the priority for the transcoding cost is increased and model try to uh, reduce the transcoding cost step by step and uh, in the point of alpha 1 uh, equal to point 0 0.8 uh, we have witnessed the minimum value for the transcoding cost by employing uh, the minimum number of the uh, VTF. As you can see in the fig, the both uh, proposed approach uh, have almost the same uh, behavior and our proposed uh, heuristic uh, algorithm show a very close uh, result in terms of the transcoding cost and the selected VTF, the number of selected VTF to the MILP1. 
We also compared the proposed MLP and heuristic approach in terms of consumed bandwidth and generated of comments for a small scale topology. We consider generated of comments to show the uh, past selection overhead in the STN network. As you can see in the fix, by increasing the value of the alpha one, uh, the both consumed bandwidth and generated of command uh, are increased. In the second scenario, we compare the proposed heuristic algorithm with the other studied approach in terms of bandwidth consumption and generated of command in different network sites. We consider multicast uh, approach that using the scalable video coding and AVC uh, as a coding approach and also unique cast approach that you that employ the CAC server at the edge by using the S SVC and AVC coding. As you can see in the fig, our proposed heuristic algorithm showed the best performance among all the uh, studied approach in terms of uh, in terms of uh, generated web command and bandwidth consumption. In third scenario, we comparing the performance of the proposed approach with other uh, the other method in terms of bandwidth consumption and generated web commands for different homogeneity levels of VRP requests in a small scale topology. Uh, we have uh, four uh, set here uh, in RS1 and RS2 means uh, all, all the VRPs requested the same quality but uh, in RS1 all VRP requested the lowest quality and in RS2 all VRP requested the highest quality. In RS3 and RS4 we are be requested uh, different quality but in uh, in different order as you can see in the fix our uh, proposed MILP uh, showed the best performance among the other uh, study method and our proposed heuristic algorithm result uh, very close to the MILP1 for the last experiment, we uh, measured the execution time of the proposed heuristic algorithm for algorithm 2 and algorithm th 3 that uh, determine the multicast tree and transcoding placement respectively in different network sites. As you can see, algorithm 3 can, uh, can be run. Uh, in different uh, sides of the network very quickly uh, but uh, the time for uh, algorithm 2 that determine the multicast 3 is uh, higher in this paper we leverage the SDN and NFP paradigm to uh, propose an AVC based real time video multicast streaming framework we employ two types of VNFs named VRP and VTFs. The VRP are implemented at the edge of the network, collect the dash client's requests, and send them to the STM controller. The STM controller determines a multicast tree from an optimal source to an appropriate subset of the VTF hosted in hub nodes. Then AVC uh, encoded segments in the highest request that quality are transferred through the multicast tree. The VTF transcode the segments to the quality levels requested by VRPs. Finally, the obtained uh, quality levels are transferred to the VRP in a unicast fashion. To address time complexity of the proposed MILP model, we introduce a heuristic algorithm. The proposed approach are very uh, are evaluated using the uh, mini net and floodlight as a stand controller and compared with the other unicast and multicast approach. 
The performance of the approach is measured in terms of the bandwidth usage and network path selection effort. And the purpose heuristic method shows a promising result. It's close to the MILP model and uh, results in a significant reduction in bandwidth usage and path selection overhead in various scenarios that investigated. Improving the MILP and heuristic algorithm performance uh, and uh, reduce the time complexity and also considering the end-to-end -end delay are the open challenges for the future work. Here you can see some references that we use in the paper. Thank you for your attention and I'll be happy to answer your question. Thank you.